Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I did these spring twists. I'm just going to be showing you how I did like one or two of them because I actually started recording this video and I had a hard time because the way how you twist these twists are very different from how I do typical twists like Senegalese twists because those are more like rope twists so you're twirling the hair as you twist it but this one you're literally just bringing it across so you don't want to twirl so I was like doing that at first and it was looking horrible just long and straight there was no springiness to the twist because this hair like has a lot of bones to it so yeah it definitely has a lot of movement but if you twist it like a rope twist then it's gonna be very long and stiff like a typical Senegalese or Cuban twist so I'm starting off on freshly washed hair that has been blow dried and I'll show you how I sectioned the twisting hair in a minute and for right now I'm just gonna be braiding an inch down and then when I'm finished that part there I'm going to split the hair in two so that my hair half of it is in both halves of the hair that I'm holding the twisting hair and then I'm gonna continue twisting down When I get to the end of the twist, I just use the scissors to cut the hair open rather than pull it apart with my hands and I'll explain why I am doing it that way in a little bit. First off, um, I didn't have to wash the hair, um, I haven't been getting any itching or anything. It did take me about 8 hours to do and that's because I was doing it on and off and over the course of 2 days between work and coming home. So it definitely took me a longer time than I wanted but I do believe I should be able to get quite a long wear from it. Overall I really like the feel of the hair, it is really soft and it's definitely not heavy and that was very important to me because I hate when I'm wearing hair and it feels heavy, I always end up taking them down super fast. But this hair feels really light, it almost feels as if I have nothing on and I am very impressed with that. So I'll definitely be doing it again just for that reason. I know the most important question I'm going to be getting is what type of hair did you use? And I have no problem to share that with you guys. Um, I know a lot of persons sometimes act as if it's the secret Krabby Patty formula, it's not that big of a deal. Um, this is the hair. I bought it on Amazon. It's called Best Quality Tango Free Spring Hair. And if you type in spring hair or spring twist hair, you'll see a few um, links pop up or a few listings pop up on Amazon. So I paid, I want to say it was $22 US and that was for three packs. So I got three packs of hair and I only needed to use one and a half packs. So I have enough hair left to probably do my hair another time, which is really good um, for the price. And I also got it in the color T1B, I don't know if you can see there, T1B350. As it relates to the hair, oh my God, this hair tangles so bad. So this is the hair that's some that's left over from that second pack that I used. So it's a very tight hair. So what I had to do was pull on it and then open it up. And it would always tangle because the hair is wrapped like crazy inside. So when I'm pulling the hair so I can have hair to twist, I keep on getting all these knots. And honestly, it took way longer for me to separate the hair than it did for me to twist my hair. Like that was 
more than 50% of the time was spent separating this hair and it's definitely not easy to do like i would get all these knots so what i decided to do was like every time i reached that like the end here and i would get the knots i would like i was using my fingers to like hold it and pull it apart and i would get cuts on my finger like paper cuts from the hair because it's so sharp like the strands are very thick they're not going to break by you like trying to pull it open when it has knots and tangles so i got quite a few cuts on my hand every time i got to the end where there were knots i just snipped it with the scissors because honestly that was the worst part so I used basically one of these strands split in two and I would use half for each twist. Some of them, to be honest, I ended up using like one and that's for like the ones more to the front because I did realize that they had a little more spring to them when I put more hair on them. So the ones at the back, I kind of just used one because I didn't really care because I can't really see the back. I mean, it looks good um, in the mirror, it looks good on camera. But they are not as neat as the ones at the front. They still have a little springiness to them. I really like this color just because it has a little brown at the end. I kind of feel that the hair is very big. Like, this is what I had in mind. So I think I used way too much hair, actually. It's really a lot of hair for me. And I think it's just because I was wanting to go for a more natural look. And I feel like this just kind of says fake. <laughs> but I don't hate it um, like I said it's very comfortable to wear and it definitely looks better than my typical hobo hairstyles that I wear all day long which is how I look if you were to see me 60-70% of the time on the road when I go to work my hair is always a hot mess so I kind of wanted something that would be low maintenance that I didn't have to be doing my hair every morning when I have to go to work or if I have an appointment to run to because honestly like Nobody has time to do your hair every single day and a lot of times my hairstyles don't last like the whole week and I don't want to restyle the whole week so I just do like two crazy plaits um, but I'm trying to do better so that's why I got these put in so I can look kind of put together really um, very simple, very easy, nothing much to do in the morning and I like that aspect of it. So, also I couldn't get the roots to be very tight and I'm not good at braiding like I can't braid my hair very well like with braiding hair so I couldn't grip the roots very well um, so they do look a little bit poofy but to be honest I don't really care like it's fine honestly it doesn't bother me that much because most of it is covered up just the parting area and I still may try to like in a week or so if I wash my hair or something that I may try to go in and just do over the few that are showing here just to tighten things up a bit and make it look a little bit neater but as it is right now because it took me so long to do it i'm in no haste to go and retwist anything again thank you for tuning into my channel and if you are new here please hit that subscribe button definitely hit the bell so you'll be the first to know when i have new content up i'll also put a link to my instagram twitter facebook everything so you can always stay in touch with me see what i'm up to see all my posts show me some love but thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye